Well, let's talk now to Dr. Murat Aslan, who's a lecturer in security studies in Astan, Istanbul. Um, welcome. First of all, your reaction to tonight's events. Well, uh, I think, first of all, we have to wait the consequences of the attack because the U.S. and her allies start this act with a limited response they announced maybe just to limit the response of the Russians. But after the consequences, after the damage observed on the ground, I think Russians will react. So we will see during the day what the Russians will intend to do, and later then we can assess correctly what will happen for the next 24 hours. Because we know that Americans have some ships all around the Mediterranean, and. Uh, that's for sure. Russians will retali retaliate somehow, maybe by preventing the acts of the allies or maybe directly affect the aircrafts or some other tools of the allies. So we will see the consequences during the day. But it seems that the announcement is to limit the reactions of the Russians to terminate the assault of the allies immediately. Yeah. We've heard the words tonight of leaders in Washington, uh, in Paris, uh, London. We will get the response uh, from Russia during the coming hours. Of course, it's worth concentrating on what the impact will be in this particular region. So talk us through the impact that tonight's events will have in this yeah. region, in Syria and its neighbors. Well, uh, the impacts of the uh, assaults on Assad or any point in Syria uh, will be a bit complicated because uh, it, that's for sure. Assad does not have any capability to respond to any attack of alliance. But, but uh, we, we are not sure about Russians because they have the capability of as for hundreds, and they are eager to use to prevent an attack, but they didn't do that. But uh, the U.S. strike seems to be a very fast one that is terminated in a short period, maybe to refrain from the response of the Russians. But political impacts will, will be very different because uh, I'm really sure that uh, no state in the Middle East will react to this strike because nobody wants to see a chemical attack for civilians. Uh, but we, we will, you know, witness the military consequences that is totally different to political ones. Dr. Aslan, can I just press you, please? Uh, what can we read into the fact that Russian forces uh, di did not or could not stop the the military strike. I mean, presumably they have the technology to do so. They had the intelligence to be aware, even if there wasn't much time, that an attack was coming. What do we read in to their unwillingness that they didn't stop the strike? There may be some variations uh, in terms of the response or inability to respond such kind of attack. Uh, we know that they have a very good radar capability that is covering the east of Mediterranean, and the, especially the missile technology that is located to the west of Syria does have capability to prevent such attacks, especially by Tomahawks. But uh, it's clear that maybe they didn't or they couldn't. Uh, we will see it during the daytime because uh, that's for sure. These attacks are very limited in numbers, and the U.S. announced that they terminated it, which means you, uh, the Russians will, you know, review what they did in terms of faults and later then uh, identify their position. What does the what do the events of the last few hours say about Syria's capability? and Syria's military capability and its ability to repel an attack like this? I do not think that Syrians does have a real capability to prevent such attacks because 
the U.S. and allies are using very advanced technology, and the technology that Syrian army have, uh, you know, uh, is coming from the capabilities of the Cold War. But the Russians are different because Syrians are very dependent uh, to the capabilities of the Russians in the region. So Syrians will most probably uh, stay at their bases and try to prevent the attacks by conventional uh, means. But uh, Russians will retaliate by modern technology. We know that they tested uh, 215 new weapon type in Syria and still keeping it up. That means they can use modern technology to retaliate. What is your assessment of Russia's response? What is Russia likely to do in the cold light of day tomorrow? What's Russia's response going to be? Russians are very smart in terms of, uh, you know, responding to such kind of attacks, but not directly, but indirect, uh, directly. Uh, with what I mean is that they will react by limiting the capabilities of the allies, maybe not from the west, but from the east, because they can easily prevent the attacks of the U.S. aircrafts to, to Daesh or any uh, target, especially around their resort. So we have to wait, uh, you know, for the coming week, if they will activate their missile systems, especially limiting the offensive capability of the U.S. So there will be a retaliation, but indirect one. What does the map of this region look like in a year's time? Is this really going to change anything? I don't think so. I don't think so, because chemical attacks can easily be initiated by any mortar round or, uh, you know, artillery round that is above 120 millimeters, which means two S1 more, uh, artillery can easily start another chemical attack by a simple round, you know, which means if Syria is not deterred to start an attack like this, especially targeting civilians, uh, they can do that. You know, they have this capability by a simple run. But uh, the U.S. selected you know, the hard way, maybe because of the internal dynamics of the United States, because there is a really, you know, complicated situation targeting Trump. What I believe is that Assad regime will continue to use such kind of weapons maybe in the coming months, not the weeks, but the months, because I'm not sure Assad regime does have control upon the forces he has. Dr. Murat Aslan yes. in Istanbul, thank you very much indeed.